Hello everyone. Welcome to Tiwi World channel. If it's your first time here, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting. In today's video, you will know the signs that your spirit is weak. So many Christians are weak in the spirit but they are not aware. If you are going through this signs that will be mentioned in this video, then your spirit is weak. And it is very dangerous to be weak in the spirit. According to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 6. If you are weak in the spirit, you are a prey to the kingdom of darkness. Romans chapter 8 verse 6 4 To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When you are weak in your spirit, you are carnally minded, which is spiritual death. If you are alive and strong in spirit, it is life and peace. Find out everything you need to know in this video. I encourage you to watch this video and watch it to the end for more insight and revelation. Please, subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you. Tonight's prayer meeting was powerful and filled. Yes, it was. I was looking for you all over the church, you were nowhere to be found. I was feeling dizzy so I had to go to the children's church to rest. You should have told me, Deaconess Betty has a first aid box in the children's church. I am sure she would have helped you with some pain reliever. The prayer session was powerful. I felt some kind of spiritual strength. I felt like the prayer meeting should not end. The pastor also encouraged us to continue with prayers at midnight in our respective homes. Praying at home is not a problem. I will surely wake up at midnight to pray. If you need a wake up call, I can help with that. You don't have to worry yourself. I will wake up and pray. Pastor reminded us of this scripture. What scriptures? Luke chapter 18 verse 1 Man ought always to pray and not to faint. Wonderful scripture. Prayer is our weapon of warfare as believers. True. Very true. It's midnight and it's time to pray. I am still feeling sleepy. Let me reset my alarm to 2 a.m., I will be well rested by that time. Yes. I will just sleep back and wake up at 2 p.m. It is time to pray. Father in the name of Jesus, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9 He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. I know I cannot pray with my strength. I receive the strength to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. I receive strength for weakness in the name of Jesus. My strength is renewed in the Holy Ghost as I start to pray. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. My body, soul and spirit is quickened by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I receive and I carry the power and fire of the Holy Ghost inside of me in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I take authority over snakes, scorpions and every power of the enemies tonight in the name of Jesus. If a science chapter 6 verse 11 put on God's whole armor, the armor of a very armed soldier which God supplies, that you may be able, successfully to stand up against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil. I take on the armor of God tonight and I stand up against all the strategies and deceit of the devil in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, through the mighty power of God. I pull down every stronghold in this house, this environment, in my sleep and my dream in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 15 Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, 
I cast down every evil imagination, every power that is exalting itself against what God is about to do in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. And I bring into captivity every works of darkness working against my life and working in the environment in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. No weapon that is fashioned against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I condemn in the name of Jesus. Psalm 68 verse 1 Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 13 O Lord our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. Every power taking dominion in my life and this environment, I come against you in the name of Jesus. I take authority and dominion in my sleep and in my dream in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 11 For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Let the angels of the Lord take charge in this environment, let them take charge over my life, in my sleep and in my dream in Jesus' name. Thank you Jesus for the answers to my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes. I can go back to sleep now. Who are you and what are you doing in this neighborhood? I am going to and fro, seeking for woe to devour. You cannot devour anyone here in this neighborhood. You lie. I am in charge here. I am in charge, here. Let us see who is in charge. <laughs> I will smite you down. <laughs> Is that all you have got? Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. I address you in the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. James chapter 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I rebuke you out of this neighborhood now in the name of Jesus. It was a dream. Psalm 97 verse 3 A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about. I release the fire of God over every adversary around this neighborhood and my life in the, the name of Jesus. Whom do you seek? What are you doing here? Going to and fro seeking for who to devour. You don't have a place in my house. Go back to wherever you are coming from Ninja. Why can't I call the name? <laughs> You are joking. Who are you to tell me to leave this place? You are empty, weak and lack strength. I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. I rebuke you Inja. It was a dream. What was that, that attacked me? And why was I unable to call the me of Jesus? That creature almost squeezed the life out of me. I am having pain all over my body. I feel so weak in my body, maybe I should just go back to sleep. 
My body aches so badly. Today is my birthday, I brought you some birthday food. Wow. Thank you so much Auntie Caro. Happy birthday to you I wish you long life and sound healthy and may you be prosperous in this new year. Thank you so much for the prayers. I will come over to your apartment and bring your birthday gift. And thank you for the food. The aroma is everywhere. I will go now, I have guests waiting for me. <laughs> As you eat, my monitoring eyes is in your body. So I know everything going on in your life. Now, I will be able to manipulate you. This food smells so yummy. Erica, don't eat that food. It is not good for you. I am going to dive in and devour this food. It looks so good. Don't eat. Don't eat. Yummy in my tummy. Auntie Caro is such a great cook. <laughs> Done. You are in trouble. Number one sign that you have a weak spirit or your spirit man is weak is that you will find it difficult to pray. Or you cannot pray for long. You don't like to pray, you fall asleep easily when you want to pray, you get busy doing other things that you can't find time to pray, you don't go for prayer meeting. And prayer is always like a burden to you. If this is happening to you, it means your spirit is weak. And this is the most dangerous thing that can happen to any man. Prayerlessness. When you are not praying, you are giving the enemy legal access to your life. When you start to realize you are low or weak in prayers, then there's an attack on your spirit. You are weak in your spirit. The second sign that shows that your spirit is weak is that you are always defeated in your dream. When you have demonic attack, they always overpowered you. You find it difficult to call the name of Jesus in your dream. This is a sign that you are weak in your spirit which is very dangerous. This means that you are exposed to demonic attack anytime. If you are always overpowered in your dream or you are always tormented, pressed, beaten, eating, carrying heavy load for someone and so on, then your spirit is weak. The third sign that your spirit is weak is that you cannot discern the voice of God. As you have seen. In the video, the Lord was speaking to Erica, but she couldn't discern because she's spiritually weak. If your spirit is weak you cannot discern spiritual things. The dangerous part is that if you cannot discern, you get into problems easily. Because you can't discern warnings, instructions, and guide. The Lord was trying to warn Erica, but she couldn't discern and she entered into the trap of the enemy. Romans chapter 8 verse 6 4 To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. If your spirit is weak you are canally minded which is spiritual and physical death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. How do you bring your spirit man out of weakness? Number one is to go into fasting and prayer for God to restore your spirit. Number two is to read, meditate and digest the word of God. Number three is to pray always. Pray without ceasing. Number four is to listen to spirit filled and Bible based messages. These are the things that keep your spirit man strong and alive. Please, don't ignore. God bless you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. God bless you.